Um, today, uh, I'm here to present to you uh, an amendment to the 2014-2015 budget. Um, what I'm recommending uh, and is, uh, is in accordance with uh, Title 50-103 of the Idaho Code, and what, where we have additional revenues uh, in the amount of $361,635 for uh, um, the amendment would uh, change the ordinance 2014-12 and it's for the following events okay so the general fund um, the recommendation is to change general government by $302,585 it is for the Moscow Pullman Regional Airport for and I have a memorandum here I thought but uh, for the um, additional funding for that um, the other funding is for the uh, to accommodate a council goal earlier in the year a commitment for the entryway beautification project the other funding is for uh, scope of work on the library building exterior now that has changed in the past two weeks um, I'm not going to recommend a change to the appropriation ordinance because we already had the uh, publication in the newspaper but we will not be spending the monies for that um, there's been a change in that regard but um, the appropriation I'm recommending not change we just won't spend those funds that amount of money is uh, thirteen thousand five hundred dollars I believe um, the other monies is uh, for child safety seat program um, patrols and, and gra uh, grant benefit benefiting the um, community development and the historic preservation program uh, I think Ray, um, uh, Michael Ray's running that <coughs> after uh, those are the little changes uh, one of those uh, for the beautification also affects the capital projects fund as a transfer we identified some funds to increase that so that transfer is occurring uh, out of capital projects and then to uh, the general fund so that's what raises it by forty five thousand five hundred and fifty dollars the total of those two uh, those items is three hundred and sixty one thousand six hundred and thirty five dollars it amends the budget that is currently in the 2015 year fifty nine million seven hundred and fifty one thousand four hundred and thirty dollars by this increase of the three six three hundred sixty one thousand six hundred and thirty five dollars it amends the 2015 budget to a total of sixty million hundred and thirteen thousand sixty five dollars and I'm here for any questions questions for Don Don one more time you're, you're appropriating some money that you know you're not going to spend <coughs> but that's because you've already advertised and ready to do this correct tell me again which one that was please that was for the uh, library assessment number three um, thirteen thousand five hundred bucks thirteen yeah. five thirty five okay all right, thank you. Other questions for Don before I open the public hearing? Thank you, Don. We will open this public hearing at 8.50. Please come forward, state your name and address, and tell us what's on your mind. <laughs> Seeing nobody rush to the podium, I'll close it. 30 seconds later, Dan. You know, we do this every year, and we always manage to find money, more money to spend every year somehow. <laughs> Much to Walter's chagrin. <laughs> amazing, ain't it? It's amazing. Uh, so considering the public testimony, I would uh, make a motion that we approve the ordinance under suspension of the rules requiring three complete and separate readings and to be read by title and published by summary. Second the motion. Okay, we got a motion by Dan, a second by Jim to approve the ordinance on the suspension of the rules requiring three complete and separate readings and it be read and titled by published by summary. John, I'll start the roll with you. Aye. 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 And aye. Okay, and that is it. We will, this is uh, ordinance 2015-14. 
Okay, ordinance uh, 2015-14, an ordinance of the City of Moscow, Idaho, a municipal corporation in the state of Idaho, amending ordinance 2014-12, the appropriation ordinance for the fiscal year beginning October 1, 2014, and ending September 30, 2015, to appropriate monies in the sum of $60,113,065, and providing for this ordinance to be in full force and effect from and after its passage, approval, and publication according to law. <laughs> 